Welcome back everyone, this is Logan Anderson from allstrongfitness.org back with another inclusive fitness and health video for you today. If you are somebody who does a lot of pickleballing or is into sports and you're an older adult who often gets tweaks in their back and just notice maybe there's uh, not as much strength in your back and overall uh, core as it used to be. We're gonna show you a great exercise demonstration today that is going to help reduce some of those pains in your back, get your back a little bit stronger, and hopefully improve your pickleball performance, tennis performance, uh, whatever activity you're involved in as an older adult, we're gonna hopefully help uh, improve that activity. So if you do like these types of videos, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We make a lot of videos on inclusive fitness and health, making sure uh, individuals of all abilities, regardless of how they look, think, or move, get access to education and fitness. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into those exercises to help your lower back improve your sport and physical activity through your life right now. Okie dokie, so before you actually begin the exercises to improve your back strength, uh, I just wanted to show you the equipment that I'm going to be using today. This is an adjustable dumbbell. I bought this off of Amazon. I'm going to put the link down below uh, for my associates link so you can pick one of these up for yourself. They're super, super cool. Um, it actually adjusts from all the way from, it looks like six pounds and three pound increments. So it goes six, nine, 12, 15, all the way up to 24 pounds. So offers a lot of good different weights for uh, numerous different exercises. So the exercise that I'm gonna show you today is actually a single leg RDL. Uh, this is gonna be a little different from normal though, because for this RDL variation, what we're going to do is we're actually going to round our back a little bit. So usually when we're doing a deadlift, um, I'm gonna show you a single leg, a normal single leg RDL. So um, one foot's gonna be kind of behind, the other foot's gonna be in front, and you're gonna slowly come down. I'm keeping my back straight though, and coming up, okay? That's how we normally do it. Today, we're going to pick a weight that's way less than normal, so this is not nearly as challenging as normal, and we're actually going to slowly round our back as we go down. And again, this is really tough on your balance, um, but what we're doing, we're getting our back actually used to being in that curved um, position while only working one leg at a time. Because if you think about it, when you're doing these pickleball exercises, a lot of times you are bending over on kind of a um, not even way. So you're bending over towards one side, you're bending over towards the other. So that's kind of exactly what we are working in this exact position. So I'm gonna go ahead and work the other side here. Notice I'm keeping that foot from behind. I'm slowly curving my back. And this isn't how we'll always do a deadlift, but this is a uh, variation that is definitely good to practice uh, to improve your strength um, in those different sports. So, yeah, so nice and slow, uh, two couple key points about this. Normally, if you've ever done this exercise, we're gonna do a lot less weight than normal. This is very, very, very uh, stressful on your back. So we wanna try to ease ourselves into this position nice and carefully. Notice I'm keeping that dumbbell close to my leg the entire time. My front knee's got a really tiny bend though. Nice and easy down, nice and easy up, good. So I'm actually gonna show you another variation of this too. So that's kind of the uh, variation of the single leg RDL. It's called an elephant curl actually, but we'll just call it a single leg RDL variation. Um, that's pretty tough on your balance though. So if you're somebody who's a little more unsteady on your feet, you can do this closer to a wall, um, but you can also have something like a plank here to kind of give you some uh, counterbalance. So I'm gonna show you again the same thing, one foot straight behind, front knees bent just a little bit, and I'm slowly going down as low as I comfortably can. Again, a very slight amount of curve when I get down there with my lower back, not too much, all the way down and all the way up. Good, so again, you can use a wall for assistance, you can use a plank for assistance. Um, it takes a little bit of the balance aspect out of it too. 
Also something to note, um, if you can't go down quite as far, like you're not comfortable um, reaching all the way down towards your uh, leg, you can also do this to like a step stool too. So I have this step stool right here. Um, it's the exact same exercise, right? So you can kind of use that as your um, thing you're reaching towards, touching and coming up, good. So I'm still working that single leg pattern. I'm still getting a little curve in my back. And again, remember the idea with this is to get us used to being in those curved positions when we're doing pickleball, maybe we're doing tennis, um, maybe we're just walking and working on bending over in different positions. As an older adult, uh, we might not be strong in these positions typically, so we're practicing getting in these positions and strengthening through those uh, tough ranges of motion. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, these exercises. Give these a shot. If you don't have the dumbbells, again, I'm going to put a link down below for my Amazon Associates code uh, where you can purchase some of these for yourself. Again, it goes from six all the way up to 24 pounds. Really, really good options for you. Um, otherwise, you can use anything around your house and you can also start with nothing. You can also do the exact same exercise just with your hands, just to kind of get the flow of how it feels to put your back down in this position and slowly up, good. So that's the exact same thing. You can maybe hold like a wooden broomstick in front of you, super, super light, but it'll still get you that stimulus. So uh, go ahead and check this uh, exercise out. Let me know in the comments down below how it works out for you. Again, if you enjoy these types of videos, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Improving fitness and health for individuals of all abilities. Allstrongfitness.org for more inclusive uh, health education and resources. Again, thank you for clicking on the video and we will see you in the next one.